Why the team, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a bit more stationers. Just quickly at the top of it, I did a little bit of a weird intro uh, last time and I got, I've done a few intros on a couple of videos recently. I was just trying something out, uh, giving the old created, creative juices a bit of a pump. Um, got mixed reception, so we're going to just put them on pause for the moment. Uh, which works for me, as I said on a previous intro, I'm just going to say it on the ones that I did put intros on. But, um, it is one of those things that once you, say you take half an hour, which is generous, to start editing all the intro bits and, and adding all that stuff in, um, I start to ask myself, could I just not use that half an hour to do yet another Station Ears episode or something like that? Um, so I think we're just going to stick with that sort of very indie approach of how I do the channel, which is lots of episodes on volume, responding to what people like and getting them out reactionarily so so you guys can have feedback towards where we push the episodes, as opposed to trying to push for the overproduced sort of thing. That might be something for the future, um, but for the time being, we're just going to keep it basic. But I thought I'd let you guys know that at the, at the end of it. But that doesn't mean that's the end of those sort of intros. Maybe one day when I'm a much larger channel um, and I can sort of invest the time a bit better, I will. So this machine should be working fine, but time will tell. I mean, my plants aren't dead. I think... Oh, look at that. The fan spins when it's going as well. That's kind of cool. Um, now, it was suggested that the plants might grow better in 30 degree temperature. Okay, so if I go and press this straight away up to 30 degrees, what's going to happen? It's going to heat the room. Is that a big deal? Is that a problem? No. Fuck it, she'll be right. Hopefully that doesn't blow everything up. Alright, cool. Um, a couple of you guys pointed out that maybe I want to rotate one of these to be more efficient. Oh, I think I see what people are saying. Just to cut back on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Oh, shit. Can I catch it by dropping? Oh. Let's just not risk it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's an interesting thing, like, do we go with symmetry so everything's neat, tidy, and obvious, or do we... Or do you do the more efficient route, but it's a bit more spaghetti? It's not necessarily intuitively laid out at first blush. Hmm. I guess there's an argument for both sides, right? Oh, it reckons I could even put that hard up. I want. I won't do that. I don't think. I don't want. You know, we'll give a bit of spacing between the machines. We've got to bear in mind that I kind of do want to have the ability to do maintenance on a lot of all this stuff as well. Yeah. Okay, so that, that should make everyone much happier too. So that shoot can go there. That can go there. That one can dog leg to there. Should, that, should, that shouldn't be a problem, maybe. Yeah, that'd be alright. And, uh... <laughs> apologies, quick sneeze! Um... Oh, we want to do an unloader, right? Oh, hang on. Oh, there are two types of stacker. Ah, oh, I see. No. Not the unloader. I'll just do it like that. Um. So say I airlocked in here, I was thinking about it. And then uh seal off that floor. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. And if needs be. I mean it's gonna be compact. I can't really get to the back furnace if I need to. Um yeah. I'm still, jury's still out on how I do this. Because I do want to be able to access them for maintenance if necessary. I guess I can reach that there. I might actually just commit and make it a 2x2x2. Two by two by two. 
you know, and have all this shit floating up in the ceiling. Because the other, I could halve it, you know, and do it just, just this height, uh, two by two by one. And that'll fit. Um. Actually, maybe I will just do it that way. It's not the end of the world. Like, even if I had to do some sort of maintenance, something went wrong, and I have to start tearing all these components out. I don't mind that. That that works for me. Um. Within the system. Yeah. And now we're sort of committed as well. Oh, look, I already moved the door last time, so clearly that's... That's already on my mind. Wrench. So I was thinking about how I would uh, airlock this. Because you might recall I was humming and harring about whether I was going to do two doors or one. Uh, what I'll do, just to explain it, is I will basically have a one-way cycle airlock. So there will be a vent here an active vent that pumps into here into a passive vent so we're just going to have it cycle back into the system so when i leave i close the door i drain this to vacuum and out i go so essentially this will fluctuate one one you know one airlock's worth of pressure up and down but it's not like we're running a super high pressure environment we're just using it to cool the atmosphere so uh, it can be relatively low pressure i suppose but we still want pressure uh, resistance in the walls because in the hypothetical that one of these ice blocks somehow melts for some reason maybe I haven't thought of, then that would create like an explosive amount of pressure in the room, I would I would assume, during the state change. Uh, especially if it was like a 50 stack or something like that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just do a simple uh, deposit, canister deposit, and I can link it into the same passive vent, to be perfectly honest, and that's how we'll feed the atmosphere into this room, simple as that. I mean, I could just, I don't, I don't even need a deposit, do I? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I do actually. I mean, it makes sense to put it into that coolant system because I need to get it into the pipe, but I don't, I just need to get into the atmosphere in here. So I could literally walk into the room and just open up a canister full of pollutant. Yeah, that, that makes sense too. Okay, cool. But as far as the, the actual cooling mechanism, I think we'll use the air conditioner as well because we use that over there. So we'll build another one of those um, over here. I don't think there's any reason to have it internal to the system because um, say there was a failure on the air conditioning or whatever, we'd want to leave this environment sealed. Say it was cool already. Well, and we needed to do maintenance on the air conditioner. You want that as a separate sort of affair. So that's what we're going to do there, is we'll place it out here next to the airlock or something like that. And uh, and go on from there. So we've got all the bloody basics laid out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I should actually be able to repurpose all of these here. Right, there'd be no need for that to be under there now. So we can put that there. I probably shouldn't have done that, because I need to get his brother out from the wall. Now that I've figured out how to make this a bit more compact. So it'll be like that. Yeah, the back wall one's done, so that's good. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so what more are we going to need here? Got a frame above us. One, two for the floor, three, four for the wall. We'll want to do the airlock as well. Oh, we've done above as well. And there. Oh, so just five. Five and we'll be finally done with it. Okay. Five frames coming up. Let's see if we've got... Oh, there we go. We've got plenty of steel. Uh, steel frame. So what's that going to be? Tin steel? Okay. How are you guys looking? They look alright in there, don't they? Hmm. 
I guess we just wait for these to cook. Um, and then we get, we're going to need a bucket load of uh, steel sheets. Yeah. Not there yet, but if we can get this basic structure at least laid down, that'd be good. Um. See, it's hard to say how much we're going to need. 12, 24... I can make 24 sheets, two a piece, that'd be 12 frames. See, I don't see the harm in making 24 sheets. I'm just going to make them all. Just because of the way these things stack, I have to supervise this as well. So if you had 24 of them here, they'll start flying out like bloody bullets. There's another thing that we could do eventually is shoot system and, and auto. You know, put a computer for an ordering system onto this and have all the auto lathes and all that, make stuff remotely and shoot them out. Uh, I don't think the fabricator exists anymore, but that was sort of like a master production point. I think they took it out. But the same principle would stand. You could, you could plug a computer in that talks to all these different machines. Can't see why not. All right, so we've got our ice... Un uh, loading plan and our cooling room is pretty much on its way um, now I think people were asking about the tanks and what I'm going to do with them because I'm clearly going to have uh, some tanks of uh, of gas coming out there um, they'll go external I don't think we'll keep them in that cooling room they should be able to cool just like this tank up here he's had no problem cooling out here in the in the vacuum even with the sunlight on him at some point so i think we'll do the exact same thing um plus ultimately as long as the system's clean and we're filtering say like all the h2 into its own tank it's it's kind of inert right i mean i could be wrong but if we're pulling all the o2 out and we're putting a h2 in one tank on its own it doesn't really matter how hot it gets not that it's going to get hot anyway but you know what I mean? We wouldn't have to regulate it too closely as long as we just make sure that it's purely filtered. I would think so. Those ones are good, yeah, yeah. Alright, there we go, we're done. Let's get welding. Get our floor going for starters. Because we prob we may well have to pull this floor out. Um, depending on how we run all the cable and all that sort of stuff. But I might still just place it anyway. Guess I can stop with the uh Need to worry about fuel as well. We will run out of oxy eventually. I guess I can just make my own fuel mix, but it'd be good to have that planned ahead already. Jeez, that's scary. It's like those skyscrapers where you can see through the floor. Alright, but our room's actually pretty pretty bloody solid so far so that's good all right so what are we gonna need yeah atmosphere wise it shouldn't ever be changing and we won't be having a filtering system going so i mean we can monitor it with the ipad to see how it all ends up going but the whole idea is that i'm gonna just put pollutant into it and that's it all we need to do is regulate the temperature i guess which now that I think about it, 
We can just... No, we don't need a... There shouldn't be heat coming into this system. Right? The potato plants, we have an air conditioner and all that in there because... It's got a heating system, right? Yeah. It, like, as in the, the, the greenhouse effect and the plants generate heat. But no, we just want this to cool. And just like our other gas storage, this will cool over time towards absolute zero. Okay, cool. So what are we going to do about that? Um, presumably this airlock's going to be in vacuum most of the time. So while I'll have an active vent running a pipe into here into a passive to vent it out. That could be a vector for actually cooling this room successfully. Yeah. I think so. We just need a radiator. It's a good thing I spent all my steel! You idiot. Alright, um... What are we going to need here? Apart from completing this whole room. Well, we're going to need to power everything. We should probably think about that. So I need to cable that. I've got no cable as well. They're all going to need to get cabled. Oh, okay, cool. Alright. That's something I've got to think about as well if I'm going to be jetpacking out of this hole. I'm going to be introducing jetpack gases and that as well. Uh, no, I'm not, because it won't ever draw the gases in, but I potentially could... Hang on, hang on. Yeah, 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 okay, no, 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 this, this would work. I, uh, but, uh, I need to make sure that the airlock is in vacuum. And I could accidentally put thruster gas into the airlock. Oh. Um, it could be negligible. It's hard to tell. Oh, look, there we go. We've got some steel sheets already. Hmm. Jetpack on. So, yeah, what I'm humming and harring about is if I... Say say that's that building's finished right now, right? And I'm going to go into the chamber for whatever reason. Not that I ever should, but I will. I'm going to turn my jetpack on. I'm going to go down here, right, into my airlock, right? But I have just dumped propellant in this area to get here, right? And I guess I'm sort of asking how do I... Because we'll close this door... Then we'll open it, and then that's it. We potentially contaminate. I don't want to introduce a filter. Um, I mean, I could I could put a ladder, but I hate ladder base so much. You get stuck on them, and you get glitched through walls and shit. Maybe that's the way we have to go, though. Yeah, actually, a ladder base is probably going to be the better way. Um... Because I was going to maybe put a ramp here, but no, we won't. We'll put the, uh, the ladder. Just got to remember how the ladder works. Alright, where's my copper? That is not much copper. Maybe cable with a B. Um, we're going to need some more copper to make some more wire. Hunger. Caution. Thank you, miss. Got 
Go to maybe close the door, eh? Alright. Um. Yeah, so we still have a few more hoops to jump through construction-wise. Let's check on our little potato farm. I mean, we, we put all that effort in. We might as well see what's going on. Probably power these doors at some point as well, you know? Alright, so that's vacuum. Um... 30 degrees flat. Now that's something I hadn't really considered is that we need to, uh... Pump gas back into this room. Alright, let's reset the potato situation. dropping potatoes on it because, oh, whoops, whoopsies, <laughs> okay, look at that, immediately kicks into gear, yeah, so we're going to have to get that pressure back up. Let's go for around 30. That's fine. Nice. Everything's going swimmingly by the look of it. Oh, okay, so we made some cable. Let's figure out the ladder situation. Kit ladder. Iron. Hmm. Let's just cook up this whole batch. Oh, look at all this. Oh my god, look at this mess over here. That will have to be dealt with at some point. One day. A little potato room. But yeah, in the end, that uh, the cooling of that room is going to be quite simple, I think. We have to see. Now I think the ladder has build modes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we want to see. Jetpack on. See, that's like a pass through, isn't it? We don't necessarily need that. Might need to put like a floor down there, you know? Doesn't need to be pressure proof, so. Do something like that. I mean, shit, we can put a sheet on it. Probably replace it with a. With like a grate or something at some point. 
but that will do for the moment. We're going to need at least two more ladders. Oh, maybe we just need the one. Could probably just do that as well, you know? No? Sort of works, I guess. And that way we've made ingress without using a jetpack, which is the point. Okay. Um, cable. Now look. airlock's going to have power. Can we run through the side of the airlock? I always get confused about this. Can't run through the bottom of it. You can run through the top of it. Okay, cool. Just not the sides. So we'll probably run like a power main like that through the roof. Yeah. yeah it's going to feel a bit back to front, but... We'll run our cables up. So that's one. Same thing, we'll just probably piggyback that there. Well, where is it on you? There. It's directly on the other side. And meanwhile, we need to uh, do like a logic system to tell it how to crunch on, uh, we we're going to do it like on a time release, right? Yeah, I think so. But where is the, uh, cable on those? Ah, uh, there it is. So it's sort of on the top. Uh, or we might need to consider that in our layout. I haven't really thought about that because of, we're going to be connecting shoots on there. I wonder if that's going to mess with that. Okay. Right. But then we're going to think about the sort of the logic as well, right? I, uh, I haven't really done like a time delay on this. I'm not sure how it works if there's a clock function or something like that. Because if there isn't, I mean, you could make your own clock, but that's insane. Uh, we'd have to do with, we could probably take the sun and its rotational increment or something like that. I haven't looked into it. I have no idea if there's an actual timer in the logic. There must be. Surely there is. If not, we'll have to just make our own, <laughs> which will be something else. Um... But, uh, yeah, we'll just basically tell it to fire its switch with, you know, activate, ignite, whatever you want to call it, go on um, every X seconds for it to crunch uh, that stuff at a reasonable rate, I suppose. Um, I mean, 
if we can't figure out a clock time or something like that, I guess we could just have the logic always sending the crunch signal. But I worry about how much pressure that's going to put through your system if you get a 50 stack. You know what I mean? Um, like, then you'd have to foolproof every part of your pressure processing system to be able to handle, like, infinite pressure. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've got a bit to think about. <laughs> Let me know what you reckon, guys. Uh, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you on the next one.